In this video, we'll talk about lactose intolerance. This is a situation when we are unable to fully digest the sugar lactose which is present in the milk. This results in diarrhea, gas, bloating sensation and abdominal pain. Lactose intolerance is kind of harmless, but the symptoms associated with it is kind of uncomfortable. Who like that bloated feeling, right? If you are wondering who can de develop lactose intolerance, then let me tell you that throughout the world, almost 40% of the human population cannot digest lactose. And we lose our capability of digesting lactose after two years of age. Global population shows that many people across the age group are lactose intolerant. If we consider US population, one third of the population is actually lactose intolerant. Now let's lo look at the biology behind this lactose intolerance. Whenever we consume milk, the lactose sugar is kind of broken down with the help of an enzyme lactase. So lactose would be broken down into subsequent small parts like glucose and galactose. In order for the body to utilize these sugars to produce energy, they need it in the simplest form like glucose. So lactose has to be uh, converted into glucose, right? In order for body to consume it. Now this is totally happening with the help of this enzyme. And this enzyme is produced by the intestinal epithelial cell. There are specific lacto lactase gene that give rise to lactase mRNA and ultimately it produces a protein which leads to digestion of the lactose and breaking down into glucose and galactose. Now lactase enzyme level decreases as we age and the gene expression also decreases. So when we age, less lactase is produced and that makes a lot of sense. Imagine you are a newborn baby. So you are solely dependent on breast milk and you have to digest that breast milk in order to get energy, right? So it makes sense you have more and more lactase enzyme. But when the baby is growing and, eat and the baby has started eating many other foods, then he has alternate source of energy and carbohydrates which can be utilized to generate energy. That's why the lactase levels also drop. Now, in this case, the lactase gene expression decreases. As a result, less protein is produced. Thereby, all of the lactose cannot get converted into glucose and galactose. So imagine you have taken a lot of milk and there are a lot of lactose which has to be broken down in order to be consumed by the body. But many of that cannot be digested because we have very less enzyme. And in that case, there are several bacteria in our colon and digestive system which can actually utilize lactose and feast on these lactose. They produce gas and short chain fatty acid from this lactose. This gas actually leads to that bloated sensation in our stomach and leads to the abdominal discomfort. Now, how do you know that you are lactose intolerant? Now, simply Whenever you have milk, if you feel that you are feel, you, there is a bloating sensation, abdominal pain, most likely you are lactose intolerant. But there are certain tests such as the hydrogen breath test. So you would be having hydrogen in your uh, air when you exhale if you are lactose intolerant because the bacteria produce a lot of hydrogen in our stomach, in our colon and that can come out in the breath. Other than that, there are blood tests which are not frequently used the symptoms are good enough indication to tell you that you are lactose intolerant anyway lactose intolerant comes with gas lutulence discomfort and many of these things so what is the solution for this should i quit milk or sh what should i do there are now lactose free milk which can be consumed to like overcome the problem other than that, there are alternatives to cow milk such as soy milk, almond milk which are nutritious but at the same time doesn't have the lactose in, lactose sugar in that. So no problem of digesting that lactose. So I hope this video is useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get all the notes and flashcards associated with many topics in my Facebook page. Link is in the description. Don't forget to follow. In the Facebook page, you would see there are many dynamic flashcards which are really helpful for revisions. 
as usual don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support my channel in patreon if you're an indian user you can use this qr code to pay me via beam and my courses are present in unacademy which is india's biggest online learning platform using my code ap10 you can get a 10 percent discount see you in the next